The sound of the rain tapping against the car and the droplets dancing in the street lights created a shimmering transparent film over the street. Though I was driving, my mind drifted away from the soggy streets and into the thoughts of escape. The idea of a vacation popped out of my consciousness. Lost in my thoughts, I pictured myself in a cozy homestay somewhere in the woods. When I began my journey, the transition of the day from darkness was in progress. The daylight intensity was not enough to show the path and so the lights on passing by vehicles were still illuminating. I travelled through the tight streets and by the closely packed houses. It was a joyful moment for me because I would be away from all the urban chaos for a while. I usually check weather reports before going on trips, but this time the climate changed quickly. Clouds covered the entire sky and it started to rain. The climate made the surroundings nice, but the company of like-minded pals was nicer. I could film more because we were sharing the driving. We left everything behind as we travelled, but the faithful clouds kept following us. The time calmed our excitement and brought us out of the feeling of the vacation as we travelled. We then realized we were part of the moment and let the moment sink in. It felt like everything was fading away. It was quiet around and inside us. We became spectators, watching all that passed by. We made a few stops to watch man-made stupendous structures and to sate our hunger. We felt happy as we ran across a pleasant and ambient restaurant. Nothing could stop us. We even conquered the friction. Our determination prevailed. The surroundings catalyzed and made our excitement vivid. As the day drew to a close, the sun began its slow descent, casting streaks of its rays on the horizon. The rain droplets gently bruised against us as we progressed. Our journey lasted half the night. We rested in Mysore, relying on our thoughts on travel the following day. 
finding good food wasn't a problem for us. We felt like we were favored. We were back on the road the following day, traveling from Mysore to Madikeri, Kurg. So we have finally uh, found this homestay, uh, which is right in the middle of uh, the jungle. It's really nice. Let me show you guys. So that's all the Madikeri town, right? We had to, you know, uh, come down up that hill about three kilometers. And these are the boys. Yeah, men, men. Not boys. <laughs> so this is the house which are going, we are going to stay. Let me take you guys inside. So they have lined up these beds, okay? So there can be like six people can sleep here. And uh, there's this huge uh, window which has a nice view. And uh, uh, so that's going to be the place where we'll be setting up the campfire maybe today or uh, tomorrow. So they have one washroom there and uh, they actually have a sink. Okay, so this is the sink and you have this counter top the entire area to uh, work things out. So you have this entire uh, cupboard to put your stuff inside. Can I build up? So there's a television. Couple of fans. I don't think AC is needed here. So all in all, it's a very good place. Uh, I mean, we have not expected that we would find a place like this. Since the plan was to spend time in nature, it was time to peek around our homestay. The housekeeper of the homestay, whose love for horticulture was evident in every corner of the property, the time just flew like never before. Our mission was clear at this point, find a restaurant to satisfy our growing hunger. The air was filled with the scent of blooming flowers. The lush greenery of the surrounding hills seemed to embrace the town, giving it a serene and welcoming feel. We navigated the narrow, winding roads, passing by houses and charming cottages.
Every corner we turned revealed more of the town's unique character. After a short drive, we found a cozy looking restaurant between the buildings. As we stepped in, we were greeted by the friendly staff and the mouth watering scent. The decor was a delightful blend of modern comfort and traditional elements, with wooden tables, soft lighting, and local artwork adorning the walls. We found a comfortable corner table and settled in, eager to explore the menu. When the food arrived, it exceeded our expectations. Each bite was a symphony of flavors, perfectly balanced and deeply satisfying. We devoured soft and tender bread rolled with the curries. We left with full stomachs and happy hearts, eager to explore more of the enchanting town. As we traveled through the Madikeri town, it felt like we were journeying through a living tapestry woven with threads of history, culture and natural beauty. We left behind the bustling town and onto the winding roads towards Abbey Falls. The landform transformed dramatically. We were traveling downwards parallelly to the course of the water flow. Yes, brother. Huh? Change, please. Okay, so this this is Rahul, ah, we and we have just parked our car. Yes. Now, Rahul has something to say about yes, it. Yes, they have charged 50 rupees for parking, and they don't even have bloody proper parking space. Show the parking space where you have parked the car. Show it. Okay, and they are going to charge you for entry fee. There is no written rules. They are creating their own rules. <laughs> they will charge you for the pants, shirt, everything. <laughs> we walk the parking lot towards the entrance to the waterfall. The path towards the waterfall was through a dense forest where towering trees formed a canopy overhead. Our expectations about the path to the waterfall were serene and solitary, but it was bustling with activity on this particular day. We have walked by the coffee plants and the mighty trees that have withstood the trials of nature for centuries. Finally, the sight of the waterfall was exciting and as we walked, the distant murmur of the waterfall gradually grew louder, evolving into a powerful rhythmic roar. The signs of what water can do were all around the place. The older and stronger logs were broken as if they were sticks. Though mighty, nature gave asylum by protecting itself under its wings.